Does God really speak to us today? Will he speak personally to me? Will God speak in such a manner that I can understand him? The answer is yes. God still speaks through the Holy Spirit. The question is, are we listening? Do we desire to hear his voice over our own voice? Most of us are moving a thousand miles per hour throughout the day. But are we willing to stop everything and listen to him? In John 10 verse 27, the Bible says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And in Revelation 3 verse 20, the Bible says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will dine with him and he with me. A few days ago, I was listening to a pastor on YouTube who was making fun of those who says they were able to hear God's voice. The pastor says God is not speaking to anyone anymore. Basically, he said that was in the past. He said the only way to hear God's voice is only through reading the Bible. I do agree that reading the Bible will help us to hear God's voice. But I also believe God can also speak to us in many other forms. God has no limits. He is the creator of the universe. He is the Alpha and the Omega. And we cannot put him in a box. If you want to hear God's voice, the book of Hebrews 4 verse 12 tells us, For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. At times, God is speaking to us, but we fail to recognize his voice. In 1 Samuel 3, God was speaking to Samuel. Samuel did not recognize the voice he heard was God's voice. In 1 Samuel verse 7 tells us, Samuel did not yet know the Lord because he had never heard a message from the Lord before. Just like Samuel, at times we do not hear God's voice because we do not know the Lord. God wants to speak to us, and God is speaking to us all the time. We are simply deaf to what God is saying and not paying attention. We have not learned God's language or to impatient and give up listening at the very moment that God begins to speak. John 8 verse 47 says, Whoever is of God hears the words of God. The reasons why you do not hear them is that you are not of God. In John 1 verse 1, the Bible declares, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The voice of God speaks to us in many ways. God speaks through His Word. God speaks through our thoughts. God speaks through our conversations with others. God speaks through our circumstances. God may speak through street signs. But in order for us to hear God's voice, we must have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus told us he will send us the Holy Spirit that will help us to be able to hear God's voice. In John 14, verse 16 through 17, Jesus told us, And I will pray the Father, and will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him or knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. To hear God's voice more clearly, we have to stay in faith. It takes faith to believe that anything God asks you to do is good for you, good for God, and good for the world. Faith is believing that the voice you have heard is God's and then to act accordingly. When God's voice is speaking to you, it will bring comfort. It will convict you, encourage you, and enlighten you. It will lead you. It will reassure you and bring you to rest. God's voice will be positive and invoke a feeling of safety and peace. Satan's voice, however, obsesses, creates worries, condemns, discourages you, confuses you, pushes you, frightens you, and rushes you. All these are descriptions of negative. The only way we can know them apart is to know what God is doing. If you do not know what God is doing, then you will not know what the devil is doing, and you can be tricked. Every day, God speaks to us. Sometimes he invites us to draw close and to listen as he reveals himself, his character, and his directions. God wants to speak to us, and God is speaking to us all the time. Tonight, we are going to pray for the Holy Spirit to help us to hear God's voice more clearly. To hear God's voice, we need to ask God to speak and then say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, your word says I will seek you and find you when I seek you with all my heart. I long to hear your voice, Lord. 
but I know that in order to hear you, I need to spend time with you. Help me to desire your presence more than anything else, more than answers, more than directions, more than blessings. Your presence is a gift, and I will show gratitude for that gift by being available to seek you in prayer each day, whether it is for five minutes or an hour. I know you will meet me there. Father, forgive me for letting my life get so busy that I have forgotten to prioritize our time together. Thank you for the second chance. Thank you for reminding me of the danger of trying to face life's challenges in my own strength. Time in your presence brings peace, comfort, and renewed hope. Heavenly Father, your word says I can bring my problems to you in prayer and that your peace will guard my heart and my mind. I struggle with this, Lord. I try to stay focused on you when I pray, but so often my mind wanders back to those problems I have already prayed about. The cares of the dead distract my thoughts. Focusing my mind on you is a difficult task, so I am asking for your help. God, I want to hear your voice. Help me to push away distracting thoughts and set my mind on you. Thank you for giving me authority as your child to take thoughts captive and make them obedient to Christ. I pray today for the strength and wisdom to continue taking each religious thoughts captive and refocusing my mind on you in prayer. Heavenly Father, I understand an important step in hearing from you is discerning what I read in scriptures. I confess that sometimes I do not understand what I am reading, but you provide confirmation and instruction through related verses, commentaries, and biblical teachings that will help me when I struggle to find the meaning. Lord, you say I can ask for wisdom and that you will give it to me. So tonight I ask for wisdom today to understand the Bible and how to apply it to my life. I pray for the teachers and preachers you have equipped to share your word with others, that I will learn from them with both humility and discernment. And above all, I pray that I learn to open my heart to hearing from you. Thank you for speaking to me through scriptures. Heavenly Father, Sometimes I feel so overloaded with problems, responsibilities, and situations weighing me down. Things just keep piling on, and I realize I cannot carry them all. But your word offers a better way. I do not have to live with heavy burdens. In fact, you do not want me to. Romans 15 verse 13 says, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in Him. You promise to fill my heart with good things but I need to be willing to release all the junk first. Lord, forgive me for holding on to things that I need to release. I've been trying to do it all, leaving little room for you to work in my life. Thank you for letting me cast all my cares on you. I prepare my heart for what you have to say. Heavenly Father, so often my time spent in prayer becomes a one-sided conversation. I talk and talk, not giving you a chance to speak. I realize that I have not intentionally taken time to listen to you, Lord. I confess my need for real change when it comes to my listening skills. Your word said we should be quick to listen. I want to learn to listen well as I pray. Father, please help me become a better listener. I commit to setting aside time during prayer to just be still and listen. I pray as I embrace those quiet moments, I will hear from you in a fresh new way. I also believe through actively listening to you, I will be able to become a better listener for others. Thank you for reminding me to be still and simply listen. Father, it is easy to get caught in the craziness of day-to-day -day life and forget about your loving presence. You are here with me, but distractions take my attention away from the Holy Spirit who offers peace and calm in the midst of the chaos. Lord, in those times when my to-do list is a mile long, help me to stay aware of your presence. I know you will never leave me nor forsake me. I know I can stay connected with you by offering short, simple prayers anytime. Words like, Lord, I give you praise, will simply redirect my thoughts towards you. Lord, guide me along your path. When I have you, I do not need anything else. Thank you for the gift of being with me at all times. I confess there have been times when I thought I knew best. I trusted my own wants and desires over your will. I have even been guilty of taking my problems to you in prayer, but expecting you to answer a certain way or a specific time. And when you did not answer according to my expectations, I became discouraged. Father, I ask you to forgive me, Lord, for not trusting you in all things. As I prepare to hear from you, I will let go of all my expectations and allow you to work according to your will and your ways. Your word says, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. I want your will to be done, not mine. 
Let my wants align with your will, Lord. I know I will not be able to hear from you if I'm focused on my own desires, outcome, or timing. I release my expectation and thank you for speaking into my life in your way, at your time, in your purpose. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.